the big three. Mike Taylor, nifty start for the Ghost Ballers. Shannon Brown, the drive, the switch. All on that play. Shannon Brown, Taylor with the takeaway. Brown, that's going to be a great matchup between Brown. Close of the day, final game of six as Shannon Brown drills it. Aliens back within three. Ed Cohen, Avery Johnson, John Sally. Game at halftime. Let's see if Brown can do it here. Against Taylor. Held up. Good night. Balkman swatted away. Craig Smith can't finish. And it's out of bounds. Balkman the roll. Extra feed. Shannon Brown. Double dribble. Yep. Caught on his thigh. Yep. Double dribble in that situation. Probably you know, in a situation like that, shoot the first shot. Yeah, it's going to do so much for my hometown and the community. Oh, a nifty move on the baseline. Shannon Brown pulls the aliens within seven. Yep. From you. It's going to be important for these teams to step up their game and they realize that the trip is, oh, out of his shoe. Oh my goodness, with the dive over. Oh, we got a shot. Shannon Brown dribbles, crosses over right out of his own <laughs> shoe. <laughs> McDonald recognizes and just jumps on top of him. No foul call. I always wondered how players lose their shoe. Like, is it not tied tight enough? And I think about my son who does not tie his shoe tight. I don't know how you play with your shoe so loose around your ankles. What you used to do if apparently the shoe never came off? Never. I've never lost a shoe. <laughs> but I mean, I had ankle braces on and then two pair of socks and my shoes tied, really tight. After jump ball, I would tie my shoe again. That was my ritual. My thing. And Jody Meeks. And the rebound, Shannon Brown. Ed Cohen, Lisa Leslie, John Sally with you from Las Vegas. Ball off Shannon Brown. Ball Hogs will take over. And again, first 25 gets us to the break.